Hey guys, today we paint our Airstream Argosy. If you are a do-it-yourselfer and you're renovating an Airstream Argosy, well, I'm gonna put our top coat on with a $15 spray paint gun and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So this is the one day that we have anticipated the most out of the two years we've been renovating our Airstream Argosy. It's also the day that has made me probably a nervous wreck. So a few videos ago, I did a video on how to paint an Argosy for under $500. Well, I'm gonna show you a little bit more detailed on what we've done and how we've done it. Now, keep in mind, this is a do-it-yourself project. We're not sponsored by any professional paint company. I don't have professional paint people here to help me. I'm gonna do it all myself, but I'm gonna do it with a $15 spray paint gun. And I'm gonna go through step by step by step on how to paint an Airstream Argosy so you can do this at home if you ever renovate an Argosy. And there's a lot of Argosy renovators out there. The thing is, is you don't have to spend six, seven grand on professional paint if you prep the aluminum correctly. So this video is really all about how to paint aluminum more than it is really about painting an Airstream Argosy. So if you have an aluminum project, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video, um, but it's all in the prep work, so let's get started. Okay, so after we put the primer on and we let it sit, you gotta let that primer sit on for about 24 hours. The top side metal primer is an etching primer. Let me say that again. The top side primer, it's a metal primer, it's an etching primer for aluminum. If you really wanna learn how to paint aluminum, look at all the John boats, all the guys that paint all their aluminum boats that they put in the water. Our airstream is not gonna sit in the water, but the metal primer is great for above water line for boats that stay in the water all the time. So that's why we went with this kind of etching primer, and we think that is why that is gonna be the best for our airstream Argosy. It's all taped up, and now it's time to put on the top coat. So to paint this, I'm going to mix uh, 3.2 ounces of acetone in the actual paint to kind of thin it a little bit. It's better for the spray gun. It goes on a little bit easier and that's what is recommended by Topside Paint. So 3.2 ounces, I'm going to throw it in my bucket and then throw it in the paint gun. I've already cleaned out the paint gun and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So as a do-it-yourselfer, one of the things I did after it was completely all primed was I got 600 grit wet sandpaper. So I just wet sanded the whole thing and made sure lumps and bumps and uneven strokes from the primer. That was all sanded out the best I could. Um, of course, I'm doing this by myself, so it takes an incredibly long time to do this. And that's one of the things that you may wanna really kind of consider as a do-it-yourself painter, um, especially when you're doing your Argosy or regular any kind of project is it's really the length of time it's going to take you to prep and it does take a long time to prep I mean it's prepping and prepping and prep prepping the actual paint job doesn't take that long but from start to finish if you were going to do this in a few days then it would it's an incredibly long time to prep but the biggest thing is that you've got to get your primer or etching primer that is conducive for aluminum. 
That's the big thing. You can spend a lot of money. I see a lot of people spending a lot of money on etching primer. Um, I Again, I, I went to see what the boat guys do because you know they paint those aluminum boats all the time. And when they tell me it, it's a good paint, I trust what they say. So that's what we went with. We went with aluminum etching primer. Then we went to the top side, which is a urethane paint. It's a urethane, so it's gonna give you a really beautiful shine and it, it's gonna give it a really super nice coat. And I'm looking at the results now and I'm really, really super happy with it. And it's, in the, it's an extremely quality paint at a really good price that's gonna fit into your budget if you are doing your Argosy renovation by yourself. Okay, so this is the Harbor Freight spray gun that I bought for $15. Now, there's all kinds of reviews on this gun, so check out some YouTube videos. This is a low pressure paint gun and it's gravity fed. So you don't need a really huge gigantic compressor to use this gun. It can easily, easily paint with about 60 PSI and lower. Anything lower than 30, it doesn't really work all that great. Um, and I would say the bigger the hose, the better for your application. So this, this gun is definitely worth it. Um, for the $15, it's really solidly made. I would buy it again in a heartbeat to paint a whole nother project. And so if you wanna look to save some money and you don't have a professional, you know, paint company give you professional paint guns and you have to buy professional paint guns and buy professional paint um, go to Harbor Freight and buy this gun for 15 bucks the only thing that you're gonna have to do when you buy this gun this is super important is see the feet the male connector right here that goes into the the hose you have to buy that separately this gun does not come with this adapter so this is a male connector. The bolt that comes out of the spray gun is male also. So it's a female to male connector for this gun. And you can buy it at Home Depot or at Lowe's. They're readily available. Go into the hardware section to where all the compressors are sold and you'll see all the connectors right there. Bring the gun with when you go into Home Depot so you know it works. Don't do what I did and you think it's gonna work and then you drive all the way back to find out you've bought the wrong adapter. Okay, so I finished two coats with um, my Harbor Freight $15 spray paint gun and it worked fine. It wasn't that hard to do at all. Um, I would suggest practicing before you start a, a, your application on whatever you're gonna paint. Um, to adjust the flow and the width of the actual spray. That's really important. It took me about three quarts of the top side paint mixed in with some acetone and it went on really good. It's really nice and shiny. Okay, so the big question is what has the paint job cost us so far? Okay, so let's break it down. So when you buy the Rust-Oleum Topside Primer, this is the metal primer or the etching primer, it's about $16.38 a can or a quart. So I just said $16.50, right? So we bought seven quarts of the primer and put two coats on. So it's two coats of primer, about $16.50 a can, so that ran us about a hundred, rounding up about a hundred and twenty dollars to prime the Argosy, all aluminum. This is just the aluminum. This is not the galvanized steel end caps on the top. This is just the aluminum. The paint itself is almost the exact same price. It's not that much farther. It's maybe it's a little bit cheaper. So at that point, again, if you want to round up, it's about $115. Um, and I bought uh, five quarts of the paint because I was thinning it out. 
So that came out to a little bit less than 120 bucks. I bought the $15 spray paint gun at Harbor Freight. That is a HPLV, I believe. Um, I think that's what it is, but it's $15 at Harbor Freight. I'm gonna put a link below so you can just click on it and look exactly what the gun I used to, to paint it with. The, the, I rented a compressor. We have a compressor here. It's a huge, it's just gigantic. Um, and I didn't want to wheel it all the way across the farm. Plus it, I'm not so sure it would have uh, lasted for four hours today. <laughs> so I just rented one. So you can rent a compressor. I rented one from Home Depot, it was 35 bucks for the entire day. So that's, a, and it was like a $75 deposit and they give you the hose and the compressor. So all in all, I mean, the paint job isn't that expensive at all if you do it yourself and you don't need any kind of professional person telling you and just kind of blowing your mind with the right way to do it. The biggest thing is prep, prep, prep. I also bought two cans of acetone. Acetone runs at Home Depot probably about, uh, about $7. Um, for a, uh, I think that's what, um, I think it's a quart of that. So, uh, so you add that in, it's about another $14 or $15 for so. Um, and then it's just time. It's, it's time you're going to buy the biggest investment is probably your 3M, uh, paint tape. Uh, we went with a little bit of a better, don't get the, do, do not get the regular, uh, tape for houses or for regular trim that stuff does not stick at all So 3m makes a better tape you can buy it at Amazon. I'll put the link down below too Special is going to adhere to metal a lot better. It's going to stick. It's it's much much better for a job like this And it's gonna save you a lot of time and then of course the plastic so that was I spent $11 for two rolls of plastic and that was enough to wrap the entire uh, 28 foot Argosy. So um, that's about our cost. It wasn't really that expensive. The big cost, however, is gonna be when we paint the bottom half. And the bottom half is gonna be a professional auto paint that we're buying at Sherwin-Williams. Um, and so when we do the reveal, you'll get to see what color that is. Um, but I'm using the same, I'm using the same system. I'm using the same spray gun. So uh, we'll see we'll see how that goes. So that's about really the basics of painting an Airstream Argosy. Um, in my last video I did, I showed you the type of etching primer and filler I used for the end caps. So check out that video. It's a new product from Rust-Oleum, and I think it just blows anything else away. It's both etching primer and filler. It's sandable. And that's exactly what I did when I used on the end caps. And then I just painted it today with a top coat. So really super easy. You don't have to spend thousands. You don't have to get a corporate sponsor. You don't have to, you know, um, just blow your brain with, with people giving you information. Um, this was the best way to go, I think, and I did a lot of research on this. But if you have any questions, post it in the comments. If you think I could have done a better way, if you have questions on what I used, Post them. I want to hear what your ideas were. We'll see in a year if I was right or wrong about the paint. I think it's going to be fine. And so far, it looks great. So anyway, you guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Hit the subscribe button. We got a lot more Argosy stuff, and we definitely have a lot more nomadic videos coming, coming your way. So we'll see you guys later. Bye.